Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Freelancer. My name is Marlo, and uh, we're going to continue the story. I've been doing some missions to get us to the next story mission, and uh, so let's get out into space, and I'll take you on a tour of our new ship. Uh, Freelancer Alpha 1-1, this is Battleship Northrop. You are cleared for launch. You will Good submit line. to a cargo scan. Here we are launching. You're all clear. You know, Nothing unusual. We're in, still in Bretonia, uh, another uh, house of space. I really like this area of space, but I don't really like a lot of the ships here, which is unfortunate. This is a heavy, Bretonian heavy fighter. It's what the military uh, ships are in this uh, area of space. Uh, I think it's pretty ugly looking. Uh, it, it functions uh, well enough, but, uh, you know. It's uh, definitely kind of a heavier platform. Uh, it's not very maneuverable. There are other heavier fighters that are better uh, as far as maneuverability goes. But we can fit more guns on it. Um, we can take more of a beating, uh, which is good because we can't dodge a beating very well in the ship. So it's okay, uh, but definitely not my favorite ship in the game. Uh, again, not, not really any of the ships that I uh, really like are in this area of space. So we received a message from Junie, it was before I started recording, that told us to meet her on planet Cambridge, which is this planet right here, conveniently enough. So, we're going to dock on the planet. This and is Bretonia Police, Epsilon 12 to Freelancer Alpha 1 1. I'm commencing a scan scanned. on your cargo bay for contraband. To see if we're smuggling anything. You're all clear, nothing unusual. Uh, the contraband in this game is either artifacts or cardamon, which is the uh, drug of choice of the future, right. apparently. Uh, but help. we uh, don't have any of that in our hold. It's you're not gonna get it in your hold randomly from killing enemies uh, or anything like that, like you can with some items. And you're gonna if you have it in your hold, it's because you bought it somewhere and you're smuggling, which is which can be fun, but uh, isn't really. Doesn't really have much of anything to do with the story mission. Well, there's a big spot on my screen. Okay, here we go. Should be a cutscene here. Hey. I was wondering when you'd show. Did you find Quintain? That's the thing. The good doctor has disappeared. You mean like the others? No, not like them. This one left a trail, but I'm gonna need your help, Trent. Are you with me? All right, so here's our mission. Junie is a lead that might shed some light on the whereabouts of Professor Quintain. He's the key to learning more about the alien artifact, a.k.a. the MacGuffin. Uh, since this is not an official LSF mission, there is no LSF intel data available. Our reward is valuable information about the mysterious alien artifact. You remember the good old days when our reward was money? Oh, well... Well, of course we accept. That's why I'm here. Count me in. Good. What do you know about Xenoarchaeology? Not much. Why? Just let me do the talking. And whatever you do, keep that artifact out of sight. I don't want a repeat performance of Manhattan. Anything else? Yeah. Bring the bottle. Very nice of you to see us on such short notice, Mr. Vance. When you said in your message that you and Dr. Trent were from the Hammer Research Institute in Liberty, I could hardly refuse. It's not entirely unusual for Dr. Quintain to miss an appointment now and then, even one regarding funding. We understand. We'd made it quite a while ago. I'm just pleased the university put me in touch with you. I do a lot of work for Dr. Quintain, shuttling people and equipment back and forth to his research sites. I'm sorry, usually I can find him, but... You mean you don't know where he is? He doesn't know where he is. Ouch. Oh, he hasn't been around for weeks. Probably doing deep research. He doesn't always tell us. Dr. Sinclair doesn't even know where he is. Have you spoken to her yet? No. She's been doing field work for the professor for years. Has she? Do you think she'd mind if we looked her up? No. Funding is what these scientists live for. Well, that and a little recognition, of course. Of course. Can you tell us where Dr. Sinclair is now? Sprague. I'm afraid I can't get her a message, though. It's too far out. That's all right. We'll go to her. You've been very helpful, Mr. Vance. Thank you. I think Dr. Sinclair will be quite pleased. Last week, nothing. This week, you and the Rhinelanders. 
What Rhinelanders? From the New Berlin Museum. They're also very interested in their work. You just missed them. Uh-oh. We gotta move. Get whatever you need here on Cambridge and meet me in space. Don't take too long, doctor. I won't. <laughs> Academics. All right, well, uh, I'm sure those Rhinelanders aren't uh, doctors of archaeology any more than we are, so we'd better get into space and see what we can do uh, about uh, getting there first. Uh, let's see if they have a better shield than what we have. We have a class 4 shield. Uh, I don't think we're going to get any better, so let's just take off and uh, start the mission. Alright, summary of the mission says exactly the same thing I just read, so we'll just lift off. Freelancer Alpha 1-1, this is Planet. Took you long enough. We don't have any time to waste. Let's go. Alright, we're going to go to Planet Sprog, which is not in this system. Dog. It's in the Omega-3 system, which is a kind of a these Rhinelanders could have left hours ago. We have to get to Sinclair before they do. I checked the star chart. Sprague is a remote planet in the Omega-3 system. It's not too far from here. Maybe this Dr. Sinclair is all we need to find out more about our artifact. So, uh, yeah, so the Omega systems and the Tau systems and the Sigma systems are the systems that exist between uh, the... Uh, Incoming ships, this is the Norfolk. Your trajectory indicates that you are traveling to the Omega systems. Be advised that tensions between the Bretonian Empire and Rhineland have escalated. A military confrontation cannot be ruled out. Roger, Norfolk. Our destination is Sprague and Omega-3. We have no intention to enter Rhineland territory. Understood. We have no reports of Rhineland activity in that system. Norfolk out. Stop. Hold on. We'll take this trade lane. You lead, Trent. Right, so there, those regions of space are kind of exist in the borders between the different house, uh, the house space uh, areas. So between uh, Bretonia and Rhineland, you have the Omega Rhineland systems. Rhineland is about the damn alien artifacts. Did you hear that President Jacoby is now trying to persuade the Queen to ban all artifacts here in Bretonia? I'm sure she has her reasons. Right. So we're going to go to one of these border areas to meet with Dr. Sinclair, hopefully to learn more about our artifact, and probably to be shot at by uh, Rhinelanders, uh, as usual. There's the jump gate. You first, Trent. Doc. All right. And this will be one of our first times in between house space in these kind of more wild regions, so to speak, uh, kind of on the frontiers. You can spend a lot of time on the frontiers in, uh, you know, after the game is over when you're kind of in permanent free roam mode. Uh, certainly there are lots of areas of the game that you can explore that we'll never visit in the story missions. Uh, so there's, it, you know, it's a big, it's a big area that the game gives you to play around in. And I encourage you to go poke your nose in all the corners. Uh, there are lots of things you can find. Including shipwreck. The star chart describes Sprague as an unpopulated planet with no trade lane connections. We'll have to fly from here to Freeport One and then through open space. So yeah, you can even find shipwrecks that contain unique weapons and items that you can't buy anywhere else. Um, the locations of which you can certainly find on Google, but that's no fun. Uh, it's much more fun to find them. Sometimes bar rumors uh, in the relevant systems will uh, give you coordinates or give you general areas to search and then you can go find them. So. This is where we have to leave the trade lane. Incoming ships, be advised. Rhineland forces have set up blockades in Omega-7. No ships are allowed access to Rhineland space. All merchant vessels are to remain at Freeport 1 until the crisis is over. Freeport One, we're on our way to Sprague to bring supplies to an archaeological expedition. Have you detected any Rhineland ships in the area? Negative, but Sprague lies beyond our patrol routes. If you are attacked, we won't be able to send help. Understood. Thanks for the warning. Trent, I've uploaded the coordinates to Sprague into your neural net. Come on. 
All right, we're going to pause for a minute so I can tell you about uh, this station and the group that uh, that runs it. This is Freeport 1. The Freeports are uh, stations that are located in lots of independent areas of the Sirius sector where the game takes place. Uh, they are owned uh, and run by a group known as the Zoners. The Zoners are kind of a separatist group that have decided that, uh, you know, the whole organized uh, government thing is uh, a bad idea and uh, they have left the uh, areas of space that are controlled by the house governments and set up shop for their for themselves uh, in these space stations that you can find in the frontier areas uh, of the game. They're really kind of an interesting group. Uh, their stations are interesting. This is Freeport 1 that we're sitting in front of right now that you can't really see because of the game pause uh, menu. But uh, you'll see it in a minute when I unpause the game. Uh, but they're interesting places. A lot of times you can uh, meet and talk to groups, uh, members, group members who would very much like to kill you if you're out in space, uh, as well as bounty hunters, uh, you know, in the bar right next to each other. It's kind of, kind of interesting. The Freeports are considered to be neutral territory by all groups and the zoners are, are uh, a neutral group uh, who are not allied by anybody uh, and not enemies uh, with anyone. Interestingly enough if you would like to become friendly with the zoners you can do it but the way you have to do it is to uh, bribe them. You can't take missions from the zoners to kill anything and get reputation with them the way that you normally uh, would with a regular faction. So you know, kind of an interesting group that we'll uh, be seeing a little bit more of in the game. But uh, again, uh, really more of a group you're going to have a lot of interactions with in the uh, in the end game. So we're going to fly to this planet. There's no trade lane that goes here, so we're just going to have to use our cruise engines to get out this way. And I'm sure Junie will be telling us more things here in a minute. The situation is really getting out of control now. A blockade in Omega-7? Ryland is now in direct violation of the Borman Treaty. The colonies haven't been this close to an open military conflict since the 80-year war between Ryland and the GMG. Vance gave me the frequency of the dig site beacon. I'm not picking up a signal yet. We probably have to get closer. Interestingly enough, you can't actually dock on this planet uh, when you're not in this particular story mission. This is Almost the, there. Still no signal. This is the only time you get to visit this particular planet is in this mission. So uh, enjoy it while it lasts. We'll never be back here. And once the free game has ended, I don't believe that you can land here again. Even if you could, there's nothing here. But uh, We made it. You dock first, Trent. Okay, that's kind of annoying when that happens. I don't really like how, you know, the cutscenes just kind of leave you as a sitting duck. But, uh... Anyway, I'm now in... I'm flying in Newtonian mode uh, at the moment. The main reason is that it uh, makes you a little harder to hit. Because uh, we're outnumbered at the moment. So, yeah, our weapons definitely will suck our weapon energy pool. That's the yellow bar at the bottom there above the uh, hull and uh, shield bar. It will definitely suck our our weapons down fast, and then you can't, uh, you know, you can't fire as many weapons at one time. Ooh, their weapons hurt. Uh... Again, we don't have to worry about Junie. She is, uh... Oh. She's invincible for story reasons. Uh... Which is nice because, it, you know, the mechanics of combat uh, make it very difficult to help your wingmen a lot of the time. You know, unlike a game like Free Space 2 where you can actually can actually do that. Uh, in this game it can be very difficult. So, we don't have to worry about that too much. 
most of the friendly NPC ships that we will deal with are, uh, they're going to be invincible. You really don't have to worry about them, which is nice. Yeah, as tough as these ships are, Last one. they definitely get harder. We have to head down to the planet and get Sinclair the hell out of here. I hope we're not too late. You first, Trent. We have to hurry. I have a bad feeling that there are more of them out there somewhere. Okay, we've tracked it in everything we could. We did end up uh, losing one shield battery, but that's okay. On our way out, if we can, I'll probably stop at the Freeport. Uh, I forget if the mission's going to let us do that. Uh, if we're going to be in combat or something. Uh, again, you know, this ship is going to take a little bit more of a beating because it's just not very maneuverable. So I wish I had a Class 5 shield, which is the maximum shield that this particular ship can take, but just haven't seen one for sale yet. But we should soon. Looks like some kind of cloaking technology. Not even the Liberty Navy has ever managed to get those to work. The dig site isn't on any of the charts. We're gonna have to search for it. Well, let's hope it's still there and that these Rhinelanders didn't find it already. I'm getting a faint signal. It must be the dig site. Hold on. Yes, I think that's it. Looks like they had to excavate inside this rock formation to get to the dig site. Activating landing sequence. This must be the entrance. I'm going in. No lights, no radio contact. This doesn't feel right. Let's hope for the best. Maybe they're all digging for artifacts and don't even know we're coming. Yep, it's the only time we we're ever going to be here. Do you think we're too late? We have to find Sinclair and get the hell out of here. Okay, we're gonna have another. And you say you got this where exactly? A thief on Manhattan. He was killed because of it. Now those same people are after us. We were told you could help. Look around you, Miss Zane. You are standing in the living history of the Dom Kavash, a race that predates early man by over 10 million years. Up until recently, relatively speaking, they were the inhabitants of much of our new home here in Sirius. I've been working for years to piece together fragments of their past, their culture, technology, language, anything. These panels here have been the core of my research. They've shed light on some of their writings, but thanks to this piece, I'm close to unlocking their code. Yes, I know quite a lot about this artifact, but not why anyone would want to kill for it. Know anything about cloaking Rhineland ships? Mr. Trent, I am a scientist. I deal in facts, not fiction. Well, you better listen to the facts. A lot of people have died because of this trinket. There's something going on in the colonies. People are being killed. Others have disappeared, like your colleague, Dr. Quintain. Quintain hasn't disappeared. He's a recluse. He's gone under. That's what I think. And a man like him only goes under for a very good reason. I think he knew too much. This is ridiculous. Is it? We find out that Rhineland has an active interest in your research, and when we get here, we're attacked by Rhineland ships using a technology I have never seen before. Still not enough of a connection for you? How about that friends of mine, trusted people in the Liberty military assigned to stop illegal artifact smuggling are gone, like they were never there. Maybe they knew too much too. They just didn't see it coming like Quintain. Well, I do, and you should too. And with him gone, that only leaves you. I figure those ships are coming back here soon and there's no telling what else they're bringing with them. You, doctor, can either be a live scientist on the run or a dead one in the ground. Which will it be? I'm not leaving without my work. Besides, how do I know you aren't the enemy? Doctor, we've got over a dozen ships on our screen. I don't know what kind. We didn't see them coming. I told you they were coming back. Pack up what you can and send the others to the ships. Yes, doctor. All right, I'm with you. Come well, on, that didn't take long. They put him in my ship. Oh well. <sighs> Looks like we're gonna get to fight some more. Not surprisingly. A lot of that. Uh oh. That's not good. Uh, 
Oh, poor nameless NPC didn't make it out. The worst part is he wasn't even wearing a red shirt. Okay, our objective is the Rhinelanders have found us. We have to get Sinclair to safety. The enemy is right on top of you. Expect heavy resistance. Our reward is survival. Yep. That's our reward a lot of the time in this game. All right. Oh my god, they destroyed our base, my work. Okay, well that explains uh, why you can't visit this planet again. We're out numbered. We've got to get out of here. Where? Into the nebula. There's a place we can hide. I'm uploading the coordinates. Woo. Quickly, people, let's move out. We've got Rhineland jump uh gunboats. All right, we're going to start heading towards the waypoint. All right, again, Newtonian flight mode is very helpful here. Uh, you don't have to be too worried about their missiles as long as you don't take too many in a row. Let's see if I can get to cruise speed without them hitting me with a cruise disruptor, which will knock us back into regular uh, regular speed. And then I think we're clear. And Junian Sinclair will catch up with us uh, kind of automatically. You don't have to worry about them, even though they read as being pretty far Just away. A few more seconds. We'll lose them in the nebula. We made it. Hold on. Checking radar. Clear. No sign of them. Doctor, where are we going? Baxter Research Station. It's been abandoned for over a decade, but life support should still be functioning. Doc you weren't joking when you told me about ships appearing out of nowhere. Thank you for getting me out of there. You're welcome. Now, Dr. Sinclair is flying one of the uh, freighters in the game, uh, Clydesdale Freighter. It's the freighter used by a lot of the Bretonian corporations. It's actually a pretty good ship uh, if you're using Trent, freighters. We have to go faster! Um, in combat, they work almost kind of like gunships. They have turrets that you, that can, you can fire uh, in turret mode. Uh, of course, you're kind of stuck flying in a straight line at that point, so that kind of stinks. This is it. We should land here. Keep your eyes open. They can't be that far off. Dock. All right, so we're going to dock with the station, and I think get to watch another cutscene. And again, Dr. Sinclair's ship also uh, should be invincible. Uh, shouldn't have to worry about it too much. I think we've managed to shake them for now. I hope you're right. Do you ever get tired of this? The running and fighting? No, this. Tell you the truth, I don't even pay attention anymore. It's a view like this that got me into xenoarchaeology in the first place. I thought, if the universe exists for eons, I could only experience it for a brief moment of time. I wondered what a more ancient race must have thought of it. I wanted to live through them. If you're right and Quintain has hidden himself, that means he's still out there somewhere. What's that? They found us! We've got to get out of here! Where? Where are we going? The leads. I have a friend there. Come on. Well, that seems like a pointless pit stop. Uh, there's an equipment dealer here? Really? That's interesting. What can we buy? Anything fun? Uh, not really. Improved countermeasure dropper. Shield bots. Uh, no better shield than what we have right now. Uh, what are we carrying? Where did we tractor in? We tractored something in. Okay, we tractored in some mines. All right, we'll get rid of that. You know what? We are going to pick up an, uh, a countermeasure dropper. Uh, because the missiles are starting to become a problem, and I'm sure that people who are really good at this game Mountain. have been, uh, you know, have been kind of yelling at me to do that, so. Loaded into cargo That's hole. what we'll do. I think the button to drop a countermeasure is C, is the C button. Um, I guess we'll find out pretty quickly. Well, now that we took our time to do that, let's launch. All right. Uh, there's no hiding from the Rhinelanders this time. You have to fight your way out. The station is exploding around you. You'll be lucky to live through this. Well, that's encouraging. The station is exploding! Yeah, we just read that. We can't outrun them this time. Trent, engage! 
Engage number one. Okay. Um. So yeah, good time to be in Newtonian mode. Uh, it helps you avoid some missiles and things like that. We'll, uh, you know, this is why it's good to have, you know, an, an advanced thruster, a heavy thruster. Uh, we don't have an advanced thruster. We, we will have one uh, soon, I hope. It's the best thruster that you can have in the game. It actually doesn't take all that long to find one, but in these early areas, it's not that easy. Okay. Yeah, we've got a missile incoming. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to drop off a, uh... That was a mine he just dropped at us. So you have to be careful about those. If you can destroy them right after they're launched at you, you can actually do some damage to the enemy ship. Whoa, we're getting shot at. Alright, we're going to go back into regular flight mode, see if we can... I'm having some trouble aiming. Newtonian flight mode can be tricky with the aiming. You can tell that the uh, that they are aiming the lead uh, target indicator. Uh, it really isn't designed for that uh, in the game. Uh, you can easily, it's harder to hit, basically. You know, it's harder to be hit, but it's harder to hit. There's definitely a trade-off. All right, we used a shield battery. We can carry 20 in this ship, and the, the fancier our ship gets uh, as we upgrade, we'll be able to uh, carry more and more, which is good. We're going to need them. Fortunately, uh, these Rhineland ships don't dodge too well. Some, some ships dodge better than others when they're in the hands of the NPCs. These are relatively easy to hit, so it shouldn't be too big a problem. The biggest problem with the Rhinelander ships that you attack you so often in this game is really just that there's so many of them not that you know not the individual ships themselves oh that's a gunboat uh, let's go after the gunboat we're gonna go back into the Newtonian flight mode Try to stay on him as much as we can. All right, we lost the shield, but we uh, killed the gunboat. There's only one of these left. Radar is clear. Nice fighting, but I'm sure there'll be more. We have to get to Trent's friend in Leeds. I'm sure the jump gate's being watched. Sinclair, what's your status? Any ideas how to get out of here? I'm okay. There's a jump hole to Cambridge nearby. That's our best shot. From there, it should be easy to get to Leeds. Okay, let's go. Famous last to words. Me, why did you come here? Surely not just to return the artifact to me. Doctor, ever since Trent came in possession of the artifact, we've been hunted. First by the Liberty Navy, and bounty hunters, now Rhinelanders. Everybody seems to be after it, and we don't even know what it is. A friend told us that Professor Quintain might be able to shed some light on this. And Quintain has disappeared his lab was destroyed the only lead we could find was your pilot Vance he told us where to find you so we still need to find Dr. Quintain to find out what the MacGuffin is and why everybody seems to want it so bad other than for plot reasons um There's not that those reasons hole. aren't important Trent you go first Stop. All right, we're going to dock with this jump hole. You do that by targeting it, just like you do with the uh, jump gates. Even when there's not a waypoint around it, you can target a jump hole. You can also target them on your nav map or in the, uh, you know, the list of uh, targets that you have, potential um, targetable objects that you have in the bottom left-hand corner of the HUD. Uh, so it works just like a jump gate. You do still have to wait in line sometimes, which is fun. Um... So we're waiting on our friends. We have to head to New London and from there to Leeds. I doubt the Rhinelanders will look for us here, but we need to stay sharp. Trent, take the lead. Head for the new coordinates. We need All to know right. what's going on with this artifact. Why everyone's after it. No idea. 
I found it on planet Pygar and knew immediately that it was of great archaeological significance. I was scheduled to fly to Cambridge to get Professor Quintain's expert opinion. But then the artifact was stolen and I didn't even go to Cambridge. I actually haven't seen the Professor in years. Damn. I guess the best thing we can do is fly to Leeds and regroup. Well, okay. So... In case it's not clear, because the cutscenes that we just watched and the conversations that we've heard are... They kind of leave... They're not terribly explicit about, about a couple of things. So Dr. Sinclair here is the person who actually found the MacGuffin that everybody seems to want so much. She's the one who unearthed it. Uh-oh. Damn it! They found us. Trent, engage! Okay. Stop! Do not open fire! We mean you no harm. We're here to warn you. Why should we trust you? Because we have deserted from Rhineland. Our squadron opened fire on us after we disobeyed orders to destroy a civilian transport. We had no choice but to flee. The Rhineland military is watching all exits out of this system. You have an artifact they want, and they know that you're here in Cambridge. Why are you telling us this? Survival. We need you as much as you need us. We're heading to a jump hole that will take us directly to Leeds. It will be watched, but they are guarding it well because very few people know about it. Together, we might be able to fight our way through. I believe them. Fine. We're coming with you. Follow us. We're uploading the coordinates. Okay, so... What's the plan? Our wing was outfitted with cloaking devices. Strange-looking things. They're part of a secret Rhineland weapons program. We'll cloak ourselves before we reach the jump hole. They will think that you're an easy target, but we'll give them a little surprise. Okay, so, yeah, so she found the artifact. Dr. Sinclair found the artifact, the MacGuffin. Uh, it was stolen from her, and the thief ended up on Freeport 7, which was attacked, as you know. And uh, now I, Trent, uh, you know, is the last survivor. Of the free, free of the Freeport Seven attack after the thief was shot in front of us uh, when we initially got the artifact back on Manhattan. So now these two Rhinelanders are saying they defected because their military has gone crazy. Uh oh, the game just saved for no reason. That means we're going to be outnumbered. Uh, anyway, these Rhinelanders have offered to help us. Damn it! The jump hole is blocked by a battleship. Uh -oh. What are we going to do? We'll take care of the battleship. Maintain radio silence. Okay. So these Rhinelanders claim that they're going to help us. I don't know why the cloaking advice, uh, device covers up their engine trails, Commander but, Zane, uh, Mr. Trent, we've you know. been looking for you. Hand over the artifact and we will spare your life. I don't believe that. So far they've spared Have no it one. your way. All fighter wings, engage. Target their engines. It's a trap! Incoming torpedoes! Evasive maneuvers! We're hit! All hands! Send a ship! Ready! Okay, so we're gonna have to fight, and we'll probably be a sitting duck, as usual, after a cutscene. Uh, yay! The Ryan battleship is falling apart! Destroy the remaining fighters! Break and attack! Alright, so we just need to take these guys out. Which I think we should be able to do relatively quickly now that we have some help. The numbers are a little more even. Uh, than they have been, and uh, then we can go to the jump hole to go see Gimli. I mean, Tobias. Oh, that's a problem. Alright, these guys are going down pretty fast. That mine hit us. The mines aren't terribly dangerous at this stage in the game. Later on, uh, when you're fighting uh, tougher enemies, 
the mines get a lot worse and you need to watch out for them a little bit more but at this point uh, you can pretty well take one on the chin and you'll be okay now if somebody's really laying into you with their guns at the same time that might be kind of a problem but uh, otherwise most of the time they let off a mine when you're behind them uh, oh there's a missile again not a big not a big problem at this stage uh, somebody's shooting me that's kind of a problem really guns are the most dangerous thing for you at this point uh, where we are now so I would spend more time dodging enemy uh, weapons fire than I would anything else um, you know later in the game you'll have to worry about more things but right now that was it let's get out of here it's pretty reasonable Mr. Trent, you go first Doc. we always have to go first uh, that's just the game's way of saying we're waiting for you to do something uh, person behind the keyboard so we'll cooperate and go through the jump hole to Leeds awfully convenient that this jump hole goes straight to the lead system, isn't it? But uh, through the jump hole we go, just like last time. Now of course we're still finding the professor, but we've got our new Rhineland friends in tow. Now we're in some peace suit. You You're welcome. But this isn't the end of it. Something has happened in Rhineland, and I'm afraid the worst is yet to come. We'll fly to the Norfolk and give ourselves up. Hopefully someone in the Bretonian military will believe our story. Good luck to you. The trade lane to Leeds is near. We should go. Who are we meeting on Leeds? An old friend of Trent's. This will be interesting. She could say that again. So we know a little bit more about what's going on in Rhineland. Well, at least enough to raise more questions. Like, what is it that's going on in Rhineland? And why have most of the military seemed to have uh, begun these strange operations while these two guys uh, seem to have uh, retained their sanity uh, in some way, shape, or form? Uh, I don't know. Well, I do know. But, uh, again, not going to tell you. That wouldn't be any fun. So, but at any rate... Uh, Take the trade lane. We're almost there. We've got to find out what's happening with the MacGuffin, so we're going to hop back in the trade lane and go see if Tobias has any advice for us. And we'll get to hear uh, John Rice Davies some more, which is always fun. Uh, there'll be another famous voice later in the game. Uh... Another famous actor from uh, the genre of fantasy and science fiction, but uh, we'll we won't give it away. I can't believe we made it through all of this. Thank you. Don't mention it. Land on Leeds. We'll meet in the equipment room. All right, here we go. And uh, honestly, I'm going to be selling this ship just as soon as I can. Uh, upgrade it to something better. In fact, one of the next opportunities that I'll have to buy, Your request to land is granted. you know, a ship that is appreciably better is going to be uh, one of my favorite ships in the game. It's not one of the best ships in the game, but it's one of my favorite ships in this game. Uh, and I will be using that ship as long as I can get away with it. Uh, it's got good maneuverability, it's got decent armor, it can carry good firepower load. Oh, Trent, where have you been? I'd be worried about you. But I see you've been in good company. Junie, meet Tobias. Richard Winston Tobias Esquire, dear lady. Tobias sort of, uh, raised me. And from such humble beginnings, your head grew to its present size? We're all clear. Nobody followed us. Good. And who do we have here? Another girl? <laughs> Tell me, boy, what have you been doing? Tobias, 
We need a safe place to lay low for a while. <laughs> Doctor, can you decipher the writing on the artifact? I can do most of it, but not alone. I need Quintain. Damn. Like it or not, Trent, if we're gonna get some answers, I think we're gonna have to find Quintain. I knew you were gonna say that. Look, this may take some time. Sinclair will do everything she can with her work, and I'll dig around for any leads on Quintain. You try and scare up some business, we could probably use the credits. Anyway, I can't have you lounging around here like a big ox waiting for things to happen. What? I can't remember when I ever saw such a vision of loveliness. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fun cutscene. Okay, we've advanced to level 10. Alright, let's uh, see what we picked up in our fights. Improved countermeasure... Oh, wait, that's ours. Okay, let's sell that. Our cargo bay is full of something. I'm going to sell these drone mines. Refill our countermeasures. Loaded into cargo hold. Uh, we're going to refill our shield batteries. Loaded into cargo. Did we pick up anything here? Nope. We did take some damage, apparently, to our heavy thruster, so we're going to repair that. And let's see what we have in the uh, cargo hold here that we can sell. Oh, not much. Some food rations, oxygen, scrap metal. Now, this will give us a decent amount of money. We're going to get $2,700 for this, which is pretty good for random cargo pickups. So, not bad at all. Not bad at all. Okay, so what do we have to do now? Alright, we have to get to a net worth of $93,224. We're at $77,361. So, it's going to take a little while. Alright, folks, I'm going to cut the video here. I'm going to do these random missions to get us, uh, you know, up to our next uh, level uh, and ready to do the next mission, uh, next story mission at any rate. Uh, and there's a lot of, you know, a lot of back and forth, a lot of uh, taking on of random missions, a little exploration here and there. I don't think you all are terribly interested in watching all of that. So I'm going to give it a cut here, and uh, when we come back, we'll continue on with the story. Until then, I hope you're doing well and continue to do well, and I'll see you next time. It'll be fun.